we are workers together with God. Now, God has put himself into our hands. You are the body of Christ. And if God wants to pick up somebody and take them to a kids club, he doesn't have a car, so he asks you if you'd like to use yours. And you'll work together on the project. So that your car becomes uh, a little a part of the transport for heaven, right? Heaven transport. Uh, if he wants to call somebody up to encourage them or to witness to them, he doesn't have a phone. So he looks around for somebody who does have a phone and he says, would you like to work together with me? And you place the call and I'll work and, and we'll enjoy this together. What do you say? If he wants to make a meal for somebody, he doesn't have a kitchen. So he goes looking for somebody who does have a kitchen. And he says, well, what do you say we do this together? There's a fairly new believer who lives in Dublin. He's been saved a couple of years. And he has a little repair shop. And one day he was listening to the local secular radio station. It was a talk show. And somebody brought up something about the Bible and God. And the conversation was so obvious that they didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> And so he went to the phone and he called up the talk show host. And he said, excuse me, sir, I think the verse in the Bible that you need is this verse. This is what God says and that's what it means. Whoa. So, from that point on to the present day, whenever the talk show host, a moral issue comes up, he'll say, well, let's see what God has to say about this. And he calls a little repair shop in downtown Dublin. He speaks for God. He's God's local rep. When Paul spoke to the Christians, he said, make your vocation sure. He wasn't talking about butcher, baker, candlestick maker. He was talking about what they did in their service for God. What you do to pay the bills, that's your part-time job. Your full-time job is being a servant of the Lord. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're his local rep. And you speak for God. Now, when you're God's local rep, of course, it also means that you run the complaint department. So if anybody's upset with God, they'll take it out on you because you're the nearest thing they know to, to God. You know, the early Christians, they thought that was a tremendous honor, that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. If somebody was upset with God and took it out on them, they thought, wow, isn't that tremendous? We are so closely linked with God that they think the way to get back to God is to attack us. Isn't that great? They thought it was. They were honored by that. And personally, I think, if we were more public in our stand with the Lord, we'd have a little more persecution in this country. We, we aren't persecuted because we fit in real well. People hardly recognize us from anybody else. But you start taking a stand for the Lord, and you'll start feeling it. We are workers together with God. <laughs>